Well, it's been a wonderful weekend so far. It is Sunday. It's Bank Holiday Monday on the Emerald Isle. That's where International Headquarters is. <laughs> of course I have an interest in that. Hello and welcome to Sunday's GSFM. It's the last day of July, the 31st of July. Yes, our mystery voice is gone. Yes, it is, after just two days. We'll tell you more about that very shortly. Firstly, though, let's have a look and see what was happening down through the years. But on this day in 1845, the French army introduced a saxophone to its military band. The musical instrument was the invention of a chap by the name of Adolf Sax of Belgium. In 1928, MGM's Leo the Lion roared for the first time. He introduced MGM's first talking picture, which was called White Shadows on the South Seas. In 1932, on this day, Enzo Ferrari retired from racing. In 1950, he launched a series of cars under his name. Boom. <laughs> In fact, I've got, some, um, I've got some audio from Silverstone. I must give it a spin one of these days. 1955, on this day, Marble and Bell of Toronto, Canada, who was 17 years old at the time, became the youngest person to swim the English Channel. It was on this day in 1964 that Jim Reeves died when he single-engine Beechcraft crashed near Nashville, Tennessee. And in 1991, U.S. President George H.W. Bush, that was Teddy, and Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev signed the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. Now, lots happening on this day, the 31st of July, down through the years. Niall McGarty and Triana McCarthy are both GSFM friends. Thank you indeed, Niall and Triana, for that. But you're both celebrating birthdays as well today. Happy birthday to both of you. Hope you've got a wonderful day. You're in very salubrious company. Bill Berry of um, OREM. He was born on this day in 1956. Wesley Snipes, 1962. Norman Cook of the House Martins was born on this day in 1963. Musician Jim Corr was born in 1964. And author J.K. Rowling was born on this day in 1965. Where they used the real footage of Bobby Kennedy. That is the mystery voice that we ran for two days. I didn't even give you a clue. And Nulig Lonergan, I hope you're having as much luck or had as much luck in the Galway races as you did with our mystery voice. Where they used the real footage of Bobby Kennedy. I have absolutely no idea how you managed to do it, but you have guessed correctly that that is the voice of the lovely Sharon Stone. So well done to you and thank you kindly. Right now, legs out. Oh, who's that? Right now, legs out. That's our new mystery voice. Do you want to hear it again? Right now, legs out. Go on. All you've got to do is tell me who it is. Simple. Simple. Couldn't be easier. Useless fact for today. What did I tell you? I tell you about. Oh yes, Finland. Of course. Well, Finland has one hundred and eighty-seven thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight lakes, and it's also got one hundred and seventy-nine thousand five hundred and eighty-four islands. I did not count them. I'm taking a man's word for it. A man who knows a man who knows a man who knows a woman who knows a man who has a second cousin who counted them. Good enough for me. Tomorrow I'm going to tell you how long it would take for you to drive to the nearest star. Yes. And I don't mean someone like Brad Pitt or something. I mean a star up there, those stars. Good luck and thanks very much for listening. Hope you've enjoyed listening to GSFM for Sunday. I've enjoyed presenting it. Look forward to your company tomorrow, Monday. In the meantime, enjoy Sunday. And thank you for listening. From me, Jerry Sweeney, and all of us here at International Headquarters in the heart of the Banner County. Bye-bye.